Hi friends, now we are going to discuss about how we can find what are the different goods receipt that you have entered or whatever the goods receipt are available for a particular plan. There, in SAP anything is possible through multiple ways. This is one way. That doesn't mean that the other ways are wrong. So this is one single way which might be beneficial based on the other, based on the different scenarios. So the transaction code is MB59. So here I'll press enter and here I can put my the username and here you can select the event type which will tell you what type of it is. Okay. So here you can say whether it's a physical these and all those doubly goods receipt for purchase order or something. So it based on up your on your requirement you can select. I'll leave it blank. Here you can put the reference number which is probably the delivery note number. You can put the plans also and now I'll just execute. You see I can get this list. Okay. And here if you want to see the, the accounting document you can see from here you can see the accounting document. So this is very helpful. Let me see if, if I double click on it. Okay. It takes me to the material document number. Okay. So let me see it's double clicking and it takes me to the material document number and this is much helpful because why i'm saying is when you open it from mb59 the MIGO portion doesn't get affected so that's why very useful because what happens is in MIGO, if i go i'll just create another session let me discuss about this this is very important why you will be using mb59 rather than MIGO because MIGO keeps the history. So if I want to enter goods receipt and here I'll keep it like this. But if I again open MIGO to display the material document number that I did here, next time when I'm trying to do enter a goods receipt, I have to click back and all those things. So it causes a lot of problem in the automation piece. Okay, so that's why you will be using MB59. Now here I can just select with a particular plant. I'll just select with the plant 1710 and I'll execute and here I can get everything. So this is very useful and you can use it. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.